Hello and a very warm welcome. In today's video, we're going to talk Fernando Alonso. Wow, he had an amazing season in 2023. Probably one of his best since his uh, 2012 campaign. He was on fire. Eight podiums, close to wins. But the message today is Fernando Alonso has to win. If anyone is to win a Grand Prix other than Red Bull, I would want actually Fernando Alonso to win. I think he deserves a win. His, his performance in 23 was brilliant. Like, And for his age, he's delivering at a very high level. Give him the car, this guy will deliver. I would love to see this guy go up against Max. Max is the young generation at the minute, dominating. I would love Max v Alonso like in the same team, just to see if Alonso could still hack it with Max. He is, honestly, words... You've got to respect Fernando Alonso. He's an absolute menace, but his driving is superb, and that's what we're judging him on. But, yeah, it's criminal that we have gone past 10 years since this guy won a race. It's criminal. I cannot believe it. But, once again, it comes down to poor team choices by Fernando Alonso. He left Ferrari and went to McLaren, which you think would be a good move, but it was so bad. He literally retired more than he finished. So, Fernando Alonso, it's 32 wins, I believe. Um, yeah, and his last win, obviously, was um, 2013. How many wins does he have? Yeah, 32 Grand Prix. Um, yeah, yeah. I say the same thing every time I talk about Fernando Alonso. He's an underachiever. He really is an underachiever. Look at what Max has got. Three titles. He's just matched Vettel's wins. Alonso should be up there. Alonso should have more than two titles. He should have more than 50 wins for his talent. He's the best starter in Formula 1. And I want to see him win a race in 24. I think he deserves it for the career he's had. The longevity. The passion. The drive. Um, yeah, and he's much more relaxed now. He's took a more relaxed approach to racing, and I think that has benefited his racing on track. Some lovely moves over the year, that little dummy on Hamilton at Bahrain. Just grit, determination. Fernando Alonso never gives up, and that is a fact. He's had some great wins. He's beat Michael Schumacher in his prime. He won the two titles with Renault in 05 and 06. Um, yeah, so, yeah, one of his better wins, I remember it, Valencia 2012, that day I got really fucked off with Maldonado for taking out Lewis, um, yeah, his last win, ironically, was at Spain, Barcelona 2013, won at China, yeah, just, it's madness, in it? For Alonso's talent not to win for 10 years is... It's crazy. I really want him to win in 24. I hope Aston Martin start the season well, like they did this season. Alonso was close to a win. If Max retires from a, one of them races, okay, you need a bit of reliability look, but Alonso would have won. He came second, second. Start of the season, he was superb. But let's be honest, Alonso's not here to make the numbers up. He wants that third title. I mean, if my auntie was my uncle, she would have a pair of bollocks. But he, 07, if McLaren chose a number one driver, he could have won the title in 07. Should have won it, could have won it in uh, 2010, but got stuck behind Vitaly Petrov at Abu Dhabi for ages. And then 2012, he dragged that Ferrari. That Ferrari was a dog shit car. It was like the fourth fastest car. And somehow, he nearly won the title in it. This is the calibre of driver we're talking. If anyone deserves a win in 24, it's Fernando Alonso. I really, actually, genuinely hope he can win in 24. I think he deserves it. The two guys I want to see win a race is, um, well, probably three, actually. Fernando Alonso, George Russell, and Oscar Piastri. I want Oscar Piastri to win before Lando. Um, yeah. Alonso, world-class, world-class starter, two titles, 32 wins. I hope he can get that 33rd. He's on a 10-year win drought. He's got to end it in 2024. He deserves it. 